In this chapter, we will discuss the following machine learning fundamentals. Types of machine learning, feature engineering, and model evaluation and selection. There are three types of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Let's go over each one of them. Supervised learning is a type of machine learning algorithm where the model is trained on a labeled dataset, meaning that the input data is associated with an output or response variable. The goal is to learn a mapping function from the input to the output based on the labeled data. In supervised learning, the algorithm is provided with a set of input data and corresponding output data, or labels, and the model learns to map the input to the output based on patterns and relationships in the data. The output could be a category such as whether an image contains a dog or a cat, or a numerical value, such as the price of a house. There are two main types of supervised learning algorithms, classification, and regression. Classification algorithms are used to predict categorical outputs, such as identifying whether an email is spam or not. The output is typically one of a limited set of labels or categories. Regression algorithms are used to predict numerical outputs, such as the price of a house. The output is a continuous value. Some common algorithms used in supervised learning include decision trees, random forests, logistic regression, support vector machines, and neural networks. Supervised learning is widely used in a variety of applications such as image recognition, speech recognition, natural language processing, and fraud detection. Unsupervised learning is a type of machine learning algorithm that involves finding patterns or relationships in data without any prior knowledge of the structure of the data or the outcomes to be predicted. Unlike supervised learning, there are no predefined labels or targets for the model to learn from. In unsupervised learning, the algorithm is given a set of input data and is tasked with finding hidden structures, clusters, or patterns within the data. The main goal is to discover meaningful insights and relationships that can be used to generate new hypotheses, identify anomalies or outliers, or segment the data into different groups. There are two main types of unsupervised learning techniques, clustering, and, dimensionality reduction. Clustering involves grouping similar data points together into clusters based on some similarity metric. This can be useful in identifying patterns or groups within the data, such as customer segments or product categories. Dimensionality reduction involves reducing the number of features or variables in the data while preserving as much of the original information as possible. This can be useful in visualizing high-dimensional data or in reducing the computational complexity of a model. Some common algorithms used in unsupervised learning include k-means clustering, hierarchical clustering, principal component analysis, and t-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. Reinforcement learning is a branch of machine learning that focuses on training agents to make intelligent decisions based on the feedback they receive from the environment. The goal of reinforcement learning is to develop algorithms that enable an agent to learn the optimal policy, i.e., the best possible sequence of actions to take in a given environment, through trial and error. In reinforcement learning, the agent interacts with the environment by taking actions and receiving rewards or penalties based on the actions it takes. The agent's goal is to maximize the cumulative reward it receives over time. The agent learns through trial and error, adjusting its actions to increase the probability of receiving higher rewards and decreasing the probability of receiving lower rewards. The reinforcement learning framework is well suited for problems where the optimal decision-making strategy is not known in advance, and where the agent must learn from experience. Reinforcement learning has been applied to a wide range of applications, including robotics, game playing, resource management, and recommendation systems. Feature engineering is the process of selecting, extracting, and transforming raw data into features that can be used as inputs for machine learning algorithms. Feature engineering is a crucial step in the machine learning pipeline, as the performance of machine learning models is heavily dependent on the quality and relevance of the features used. Feature engineering involves several steps. The first step in feature engineering is to clean the data. This involves removing any missing or erroneous data points, 
handling outliers, and transforming the data into a format suitable for analysis. The second step is to select the most relevant features for the machine learning model. This involves identifying features that are predictive of the target variable, removing redundant or irrelevant features, and reducing the dimensionality of the data. The third step is to extract new features from the existing data. This can involve applying mathematical transformations, such as scaling or normalization, or creating new features by combining existing features or using domain knowledge. The final step is to transform the selected features into a format that can be used as input for the machine learning algorithm. This can involve encoding categorical variables, standardizing numerical variables, or applying other transformations to ensure the data is in a suitable format for the algorithm. Effective feature engineering requires a combination of domain knowledge, data analysis skills, and creativity. By carefully selecting and transforming features, machine learning models can be optimized to achieve high levels of accuracy and predictive power. Model evaluation and selection is an important process in machine learning that involves assessing the performance of different models and selecting the one that performs the best for a given task. The following are some common techniques used for model evaluation and selection. Train test split, this involves dividing the dataset into two parts, one for training the model and another for testing the model's performance. The performance of the model is evaluated on the test set, which was not used for training. Cross validation. This involves dividing the dataset into k parts and training the model k times, each time using a different part for testing and the remaining k1 parts for training. This ensures that each part of the dataset is used for testing and training. Grid search, this involves trying out different hyperparameters for the model and selecting the combination that performs the best. This can be done using cross-validation. Randomized search, this is similar to grid search. But instead of trying out all possible combinations of hyperparameters, a random selection of hyperparameters is tried out. Ensemble methods, this involves combining the predictions of multiple models to get a more accurate prediction. This can be done using techniques such as bagging, boosting, and stacking. It's important to note that the choice of evaluation and selection technique will depend on the specific task and the characteristics of the dataset being used. Additionally, it's important to be mindful of overfitting which can occur when a model performs well on the training data but poorly on the testing data, indicating that it has learned the training data too well and is not generalizing well to new data. If you like my content, then please like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next chapter. Thank you for watching.